Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. I hope you all doing well. Today we are going to create this kind of animation using some simple effects. You can use text, or any kind of shape here. You can use it for background animation also. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with normal settings. I'm using a 1080 by 1080 resolution, but you can use any. Also keep the duration of 10 seconds. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Alright, let's take the ellipse tool, and create a circle like this. Align it to the center. Press P to open position. First place the shape like this, then add keyframe on position. Then go forward to 1.5 seconds, and change the position something like this. Now select the both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, make sure you are in edit speed graph. And change the curve something like this. Try to keep the influence value near about 60%. Hold ALT plus click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type this expression. By doing this, it will keep animation like this, till the end of the timeline. Let's pre-compose this layer. And give it a name you like. Select the layer, and press CTRL plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. You can rename these layers like this. On the bottom layer, let's add echo effect. Let's go to middle of the animation so we can see the changes. First, change the echo time to minus 0.005 seconds. Change the number of echoes to 40. Change the decay to 0.90. You can always play with the values to get different results. Let's add Gaussian blur effect here. Increase the blur value to near about 10. Now add Colorama effect to change the color of the tail. Open input phase, and change this to alpha. Then open output cycle, and change the preset to ramp gray. You can change the color by double clicking here. Let's take green color for now, you can choose any color you want. You can add multiple colors from here also. For now, let's keep the green. Open modify, and uncheck the modify alpha. Also uncheck the composition overlay option. Our main task is done. Let's add some ghosting effect on it. For doing that, make a duplicate of this bottom layer, by pressing CTRL plus D. For this layer, change the echo time to minus 0.01. Number of echoes to 90. And decay value to 0.98. Also change the starting intensity value to 0 0.10. Now it looking good to me. Select all the layers, and pre-compose them. Adjust the size if needed. Let's make duplicate of this layer by pressing Ctrl plus D, and place it like the way I am doing. Make multiple copies of the same layer, and place it the way you need. You can create different kinds of formation using these layer. But always try to maintain the layers one by one.
you can create a null layer to control these layer together by parenting them to null layer. Double check the layers are in right way. Then select bottom three layers, go to transform and flip in horizontal. Now offset the layers by 5 to 10 frames. It depends on your shape or text animation. I am just showing you one way, but you can do different kinds of formation using the same technique. Now select all the layers, and drag them to the front. So you can put it on endless loop. Also press Ctrl plus K to open composition settings, and change the duration to 3 seconds. Now try to match the starting point, and end point as similar as you can. Like this. So it creates a perfect loop. You can change the rotation also, to give it a different look. Let's give it a retro feel. First create an adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for glow. Apply it on the layer. Change the glow threshold value to 40. Also decrease the glow intensity value a little bit. Nice. Let's create another adjustment layer and add noise effect on it. Increase the noise amount a little bit. Now add a solid layer for background. Apply fill effect to change the color. Let's pick a dark shade of green. And it's done. You can use this technique to create some endless background animation. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video, till then have fun, and stay safe.